Hey everybody, it is your girl Nothing's Impossible 77 straight out of Brooklyn. I'm just coming through to make a regular video. I have been doing vlogs for so long. I realized today that since I started doing these vlogs, I have not actually had a sit down with you guys. This past week, I really didn't do much vlogging. Week prior, I put the video up a little late because I had traveled. Any kind of traveling for someone with chronic illness or chronic pain is huge. But whether you go 10 miles or 1,000 miles, it has a wear and tear on you. This week, I didn't do much vlogging. I was recuperating from having done my little traveling thing. I said, why don't I just do a regular video? I haven't done that for ever. This is the 27th week that I'm vlogging, so this will be uh, vlog number 27. Vlog number 27 will be in the form of a sit down and chat. So I've been thinking about life. I've been thinking about how different we all are as individuals. Isn't it amazing that there aren't any two of us that are alike? There aren't any two of us that have the same DNA. In my opinion, that would mean that we should all come with that individuality, our own personality, our own gifts, things that we are personally bringing to the table. Many people are being copycats. Somehow, because of this, I think many of us are losing this individuality that we have. If you choose to be different and you choose to be yourself, you are looked upon as being strange and rather weird. I have become so humbled in my life. Things that used to make a big difference to me are seemingly insignificant right now. I'm not easily impressed. What impresses me is to find someone with a good, positive mind. Kindness impresses me. Doing good for people impresses me. Caring about each other, those are the things that impress me now. Loving one another, looking out for each other, all the things that are going on in this world right now is so painful to me. A lot of people are talking about things need to be fixed on a big scale. Fixing things in a small way can make a big difference. Just start with yourself, with ourselves. I start with myself, you start with yourself. We can make a big difference. It's okay not to be with, you know, the in crowd or want to be a part of what is quote unquote happening. Maybe you're out there today and you're feeling alone, not wearing the designer clothes and you don't have the Louis Vuitton bag, don't have the Canon G7X camera, you're not a vlogger with 100,000 subscribers, it's okay. It's all right, you're still powerful and you're still beautiful. You can make a difference. If I have a watch from Walmart and you have a watch from Michael Kors, the watch is really for us to tell the time. Folks are getting so caught up in where the watch is from that they're forgetting the purpose of the watch. People are getting so caught up in things that they're forgetting what the important thing is. Having a good life, loving one another, being kind, not doing to people what you wouldn't want done to yourself. I'm pretty optimistic. I believe that we can make a difference no matter how bad things seem out there can get better. Don't be ashamed of being individually who you are. Don't feel bad if you're not rocking the latest designer wear. Don't feel bad if you're driving a little hoopty. Don't feel bad if you don't fit in to the in crowd. It means that there's something really spectacular about you. You can't hardly turn the news on these days without getting depressed. Good news, positive news does not make the ratings. And I don't know about you guys, but I just think something's wrong with that. Be yourself and be happy with being yourself. Be kind to one another and be kind to yourself. Don't get discouraged with all the bad things that are going on out there in the world. I still believe that God is in control. And a lot of people say, well, how can there be a God and all these bad things are happening? Why would we blame it on God? I heard a profound person say, if you fill your car with gasoline and then the, you end up having an accident, do you blame it on the gas? 
Why do we want to blame everything on God? Old folks used to say, closed mouths don't get fed. If you have your hand balled up in, in a fist like this, nothing is coming in and nothing is going out. You have to open your hands in order to receive something. You have to do with God. You have to open your heart. You have to open your corazón. God is a gentleman. He's not going to bust down your door. You have to invite him in your life. I dare you to ask God to give you guidance. I dare you and see if it doesn't happen. Your timing and God's timing, my timing and God's timing are totally different. But you first have to invite him in. I love each and every one of you for free. And I hope that you're doing well. Stop being so hard on yourself, it's okay. You can make a mistake and you can get up, brush your shoulder off and keep it moving. Remember what my dear friend Rosita Perez said. She says, siga pa'lante. Keep moving forward. Everything keeps moving. The earth keeps moving. In activity, there's progress. So you just keep moving. You may have made a mistake in life, just keep moving. It's all right. Eventually, you're gonna be okay. The problem comes when we just stop and give up. And with that, I'm gonna say good night. I hope you can get something from this message. It's a plate full of food for those who are hungry for that type of wisdom. Peace and love, guys. Bye.